I don't know about you guys, but I have chills tonight. I've been waiting for this moment for a long, long time, as has the WWE Universe. Finally, things are going to get settled. My goosebumps have goosebumps, and if yours don't, you better check your pulse. Look into this card. I just got to rub my hands together and smile. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Baron Corbin likes to be the epitome of the term lone wolf. Yeah, Saxton, Baron Corbin does what Baron Corbin wants to do, when he wants to do it, and how he wants to do it. Tonight, he wants to beat someone up. And here's the lockup. Look at these two, jockeying for position. Drop down. Caught him with a big boot. On the mark. two things to remember about Baron Corbin's end of days. One, the incredible display of raw power it takes to execute the maneuver. And two, here's a cover. And done quickly, kicks out. The bruiserweight Pete Dunne still has some fight left, which means trouble for his opponent. Oh, oh, what a Samoan drop. He's not looking like himself here. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank. Yes. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. The end of days is such an impressive finishing maneuver and delivers incredible impact. End of days leaves its victims out cold on the canvas for a long, long time. The end of days from Baron Corp. His shoulders are down. He got body on body there, but that's about it. He isn't going to go away that easy. Every superstar remembers their first match on Raw, but for Pete Dunn Byron, his first match has a little extra special meaning as it took place in his home country of England. Well, not only that, Michael, but Pete Dunn also walked away from that match with a decisive victory over the WWE Cruiserweight Champion at the time. Pretty impressive, if you ask me. Baron Corbin looking a bit uneasy here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. We already established that Pete Dunne was successful in his first Raw match, but to me, the biggest takeaway from that was that the 23-year-old didn't exhibit an ounce of nervousness in front of a sellout crowd of nearly 15,000 in his home country on a big show like Monday Night Raw. That's because Dunne oozes confidence. He was dominant that night because he knows it's just a matter of time before he'll be back on Raw and in the main event, most likely. No luck against Dunn there. Too quick. An easy kick out there. You need more to keep a man Corbin's size down. I agree. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's struggling a bit here. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, guys. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. A very crucial part of the match for him here. He simply cannot let his opponent gain too much momentum. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? And an early kick out in this unusual matchup. Not yet. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. What is Baron Corbin's best strategy at this point? I don't think this is how he envisioned this match going here tonight. That's Black Man! Here's his chance to win this. He could do it here. Digging deep for a kick out. You know a move like that could not keep Corbin down. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. 
Look at this. Nailed it. This is all but over. Can he do it here? And a kick out at two. Still too fresh. Call your friends, let them know what's going on right now in this awesome match. Falcon Arrow! He's cheating, Rip! He's cheating! Stop being such a tattletale fool. Out of two. The bruiserweight Pete Dunne still has some fight left, which means trouble for his opponent. Nasty drop. With the damage sustained by Dunne, he could be on his way out. There's a good chance he can't recover from this. I know he doesn't have any quit at all, but now might be one of those times where you take the loss and live to fight another day. The bruiserweight is going to have a tough time punching his way back into this. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. And a pin attempt. One, two, three. Against all odds, he's got the victory. This superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean, he's got to be humiliated and embarrassed. He thought he was going to win this match. Oh, well, I kind of did too. And here he is, one half of the Lucha Dragons, the man they call Kalisto, looking to do some damage on his own. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Yeah, and I would not want to get caught huffing and puffing while Kalisto goes on offense. Saxton, you lose your breath at the announce table. You'd never be able to hang in the ring with Kalisto. Good grief. 
reversal by Kalisto. Lightning fast. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. Nice kick out there. All the way up and around the world. Kalisto is putting on a performance here tonight. <laughs> oh, man! Oh, what impact. Might as well run for cover when Kalisto's rolling like this. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Harsh impact. Ogeno setting him up. Oh, oh, a long dart to the turnbuckle. This might be it, guys. It is looking real bad for Kalisto. And he breaks the cover. Uh-uh. Gargano's beautiful technique. But he's got to capitalize now. This is Johnny Gargano's cross-face applied. There it is. It is looking real bad for Kalisto. We got a cover. And he kicks out. I have to put in a little more work than that. what's going to happen. This match could go anywhere. A lot of people are questioning how this superstar got such a favorable spot in this week's power rankings. But not to me. It seems perfectly logical. I'm going to put this thing away. No, he's so agile. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Oh boy, he is really. Police still quickly getting the shoulder up. Gonna take a whole lot more. Looks like he's starting to tire. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. If he wants to win this thing, he's gonna need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off this attack. You can learn a lot about a guy in a match like this, and what I've learned so far here tonight is that there's absolutely no quit in him. He's lining him up. Uh-oh. Kalisto is looking at Lina Del Sol. I'm not sure how much he has left. It would be hard for Gargano to come back now. Referee's calling for the bell. The match is over. Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. He's getting it done here. And I always enjoy watching him perform. Here is your winner, Kalisto. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. Legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Guys, the tag team scene in WWE right now is so impressive. And these two tandems are a lot of the reason why. I wonder if we'll see any underhanded tactics from Bobby Fish here tonight. Saxton, you're confusing underhanded tactics with Bobby Fish's natural talent and rugged grit. There he goes, crashing to the floor.
Guys, it's imperative he gets back in the ring. Yeah, otherwise he's looking at a count out. Ooh. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Here are your winners, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly, the Undisputed Era. A very decisive victory here tonight. And it doesn't sound like the fans are too thrilled with the decision here. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. One of the most successful Westerners in Japanese wrestling history, Carl Anderson, in action right now. These superstars are about to put on a clinic in tag team competition, guys. That's how good they are. Ouch. Back body draw. Whoa, you see the height on that? Oh, what an uppercut. When Carl Anderson catches you in the magic killer, it's not a matter of if you're going down, it's a matter of how long you're staying down. first time the magic killer was witnessed on Monday Night Raw, it was realized that it's a maneuver that can not only change the course of a match, but change the course of a career. Regardless of what someone's thoughts are about Carl Anderson as a human being, the power of the magic killer can't be debated. The magic killer will take you out. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. Oh, what impact! Treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kid return the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked into disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Tag Team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champion for Crown had Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Ryder and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team title tournament. In the finals, Ryder and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. 
There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. Yeah, at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. <laughs> Cesaro not looking so great right now. And into this match, too, his partner looked extremely confident. It's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in it. Yeah, no question. He's showing great energy, as usual. His head crank. Look at the torque. Carl Anderson and partner Luke Gallows reached the pinnacle of tag team competition when they beat Cesaro and Sheamus for the run. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his soul ever does. When this guy's on, look out. Is he done? Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. From behind. When Anderson and Gallows defeated Cesaro and Sheamus for the Raw Tag Team titles during the Royal Rumble kickoff show, it represented a new era in tag team competition. The duo came to WWE by way of Japan with the goal of taking over. I know it's difficult for you to be unbiased, Corey, but if you look at how Anderson and Gallows won the Raw Tag Team Championship, it will clearly show why a second referee was needed to officiate the match. But don't let the facts get in the way of a good story. I think this is the right time for Carl Anderson to be showing off. Showing off some of his speed there. Gallo's able to get out of the way there. Nice little dodge ski. No person could take much more of this. Cesaro not looking good. He needs to find a way to create some space or else this thing's over. Cesaro needs to swing the match back in his direction. Thank you. He's in control. The German suplex. This is not going to end well for Cesaro. Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. You got to make a move eventually. Watch out here. This is going to be bad for Cesaro. He's in big trouble. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking... Tag. 
What do they have in mind here? Turn out the lights, guys. Cesaro is your winner. Will he be victorious? Now, that's an impressive tag team victory. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. Check them out here. And here's the last piece of the puzzle. Here are your winners, Cesaro and the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, the Ball. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who... This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Hey, Corey, I saw you spending some time with Drew Gulak earlier on today. Yeah, I had the pleasure of learning how Drew Gulak's going to win tonight through an informative 62-page PowerPoint presentation. Ugh, that sounds miserable. We're at a crossroads. Neither competitor is backing down here. Trap the arm into the neck breaker. Oh, oh man. Here's a cover. And he kicks out. Not yet. Too early. Brutal form. We may be looking at a power bomb here. That's exactly what it looks like to me, Cole. Oh no, we could be looking at a power bomb. I think you're right, Cole. Look out. What a stomp. Good grief. He's got him set up here. Look at the suplex. Oh. Neck breaker. No, he reverses it. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. Yeah, I don't believe that, that, that he didn't win this match right there. Gonna take more than that. Nobody 
controls the pace of a match. Quite like this guy. Bringing it back between the ropes. He's on his heels. And at this point, how much more does... You've got to believe this one's over. But he's got to capitalize now. The night could be over for Drew Gulak. Point of the elbow. Nailed it. He's going for it all. He's in trouble. He'd be smart to stay put there. Incoming. He's not looking good here. This is not where he wants to be right now, guys. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. You know, the cover. No trouble getting out of that one. Too soon. One of these guys is going to walk away with the win here tonight. I just can't imagine one of them also accepting defeat. He's looking at it. <laughs> but he's running on fumes here. Does he shoulders on the back? These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. Almost forgot about this one. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Look at him go. Still can't believe I get paid to watch this amazing action. Here is your winner, the superstar. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. And we're on the way. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Usually making a quiet home in the darkness, Alistair Black only rises to compete. Now the Dutch destroyer might emerge out of the darkness just long enough to knock someone's head off. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Two. Three. Four. Exploder suplex. Gonna have to get back in the ring here, guys. Running out of time. Inside the ring now. Gun Buster.
He's got the shoulders down. Drew McIntyre gets the shoulder up. Not yet. I say Drew McIntyre's career is a story of two completely different chapters. McIntyre himself would tell you his first chapter didn't quite go as planned, but boy, chapter two is a whole nother story. Oh man, that hurt the back. Spine rattling. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Alistair Black is heading up. Michael, I like your analogy of McIntyre's career as two different chapters. And while chapter one didn't necessarily blow anybody away, there was a foreshadowing of his future success. Oh, even Mr. McMahon himself called McIntyre a future world champion, which of course later came true in 2017 when McIntyre defeated Bobby Roode for the NXT Championship. There's a pin now. And Black getting the shoulder up! The devil on his back must have helped Black kick out there. This might be it! Oh, my! <laughs> oh, man! If you recall, guys, when Drew McIntyre first showed up here in 2009, he was anointed the Chosen One. And while it may have been premature back then, I'd say McIntyre is more than living up to it nowadays. He's calling for it. Better stay right where he is. Look out! This is what makes him one of the best in the business. As Byron alluded to, Drew McIntyre's initial in a WWE had ups and downs, but ever since his return in 2017, I'd say McIntyre's among the most. McIntyre looking to end this. When this guy's on, Alistair Black hurry. makes a cover. That was nowhere near a three count. Nice kick out there. Ooh, what impact. He wants Ooh, what a headbutt. Oh, oh it's Drew McIntyre signing up. Alistair Black absorbing some offense here. You can bet this is not how he drew this one up. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in it. Boom, impact. He can end it here. This could be a cover. And the fight must go on. The devil on his back must have helped Black kick out there. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Whoa! Nailed it. Alistair Black has taken a lot of damage. I'm not sure how much more he could take. This could be the end of him at any moment. He goes for the cover. And he doesn't stay down for long. Can you believe what he's withstood here tonight? A torturous knee. A lot of talk about this superstar's latest spot in the power rankings, but if you ask me, those things are overblown. Alistair Black. <laughs> I'm not sure how much he has left. Alistair, and he's feeling his oats now. Boy, he is rolling. Alistair Black may have it. Wow, what's it going to take? With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. Alistair Black. Black mass. Golly. He's going for the pin. Two. Three. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. Man, oh man, look at that. Check this out.
Who could forget this? And this is how he ended it. Here is your winner, Alistair Black. And that's a win to start off the night. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. I don't know where Styles gets his burst, but you think he's down and out, but then out of nowhere, he can hit you with a flurry of strikes. And then AJ may just be one Styles clash away Ouch. from victory. You got to believe this one's over. What impact. Boom, what impact. Oh, oh and a bad breaker. Right to the spine. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Max no. Suplex. Big time slam. Vicious. That's up. Oh, nasty impact. That's up. Nailed it. Three. He's starting to stagger a bit. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected. Especially considering who he's in the ring with. And he's heading back in. Oh. Uh-oh, look at this. And apply. Thunder a slam. Styles able to avoid damage there. Such a technician. Power drop kick. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Gonna take a whole lot more. Harsh impact. Got the head scissors on. Using the elbow as a weapon. Beautiful technique. He's getting after it while he has the energy. Smart move. Styles, Styles rolls through. Looking for it. Submission move. Oh, there it is. It's in. The Catcher. There it is. Looking to turn the tables. He's on a ramp. What a slam! Impactful. It will jar your spine. Incredible. He's making a statement here with this attack. Here he goes. Yeah, what a combo! He's in complete control now. 
The yes lock is in. Oh, the yes lock is in. Unreal. There it is. It's locked in. Smart maneuver. Is that it? Is it over? Oh, and he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. Oh, the reversal by AJ Styles. I think AJ Styles is done playing. Oh, no. We know what this... Mother right like light, the phenomenal forearm. He hit it just when you thought he had nothing. He's got him covered. Two. Kick out at two. Oh, that may have been a slow count. He's still in this. This singles contest has a victor. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. Yeah, he's putting in the work. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ. Big win here to start the show. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the car unfold. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started.